guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope that you are doing real well today. I have the biggest bun of my life in my hair right now and it's pretty much that kind of day. Oh, but today we're gonna be trying out the Velour Lash & Go Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid. This is what it looks like if you remember. A couple weeks ago I did a video with the Kiss uh, Lash Adhesive hybrid combo thing. I don't know what you would call it. It's Lash Glue Eyeliner, I think that's what it's called. As far as I know, there are only three brands that are doing this type of stuff. So it's Kiss, um, Velour, and I know there's another high-end brand. But I do really wanna try it because I did order it before I bought the Kiss one. So we can see um, which one is better, the Kiss one or the Velour one. The Velour one definitely is a lot more expensive than the Kiss one. And that's what we're gonna do today. My makeup is completely done. So we're gonna just focus on the eyeliner today and put, pop some lashes on. So hope you guys are excited to check this product out. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit the bell so you stay notified for when I upload. My schedule has been real crappy lately. Trying to get back on track. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Let's jump right into this video. Okay, so popping the Velour Lash & Glow Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid, that's a long title. This is what it looks like. Um, it's basically like a liquid lipstick or a liquid eyeshadow kind of container. Um, so when you open it up, it basically looks like this. So we're gonna try it out, I'm gonna swatch it as you can kind of see, not as dark as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to reacquaint you with the Kiss one that we tried. So this is the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. This is what it looks like, pretty much your basic liner. And this is what the tip looks like. So it is a pen. This one definitely is a lot blacker. So we're going to see which one is better today. Also, I picked up the Clear Lash Glue Liner from Kiss. So this is just like a clear one, same kind of... Um, tip so that you can just do across your lid and I feel like it is awesome. So if you're not a fan of black liquid liner that I recommend you get this because it seems like really cool to just like do one, two, three and then pop your lash on. Unfortunately we're not gonna try that today because I don't I only have two eyes. Um so we're going to try that. I also am going to try it with a like a thicker lash. That sounds weird. I'm gonna try it with the Lashaholic luxury lashes and these are in the style they're real I swear. Um, I got this in my BoxyCharm for June, and these lashes are definitely a lot more thicker as far as like the band goes, and they're a little bit more dramatic than the last time I tried out the Kiss one. I'll link that video down below. Let's jump into the Velour one. So what I'm going to do is do the Velour one on my right hand side, and then I'll do the Kiss one on the left, and we'll see which one is better. I'm just gonna take this out of the packaging just to show you that the band is a lot thicker than, let's say, drugstore lashes. Also, just an example to show you, I just like was taking the makeup wipe and taking off the Velour one and the Kiss one is a lot harder to come off. I did notice when I uh, wear the Kiss Lash Glue Liner and when I go to wash my face, it is a little bit more difficult to come off. I use an oil cleanser to remove all of my makeup and then even after that, um, I go in with a like just a normal makeup wipe. And even after that, there is still a little bit of product. So I have to go in with like micellar water with it on a Q-tip and that will get it off. So just a heads up on that. I'm gonna quit talking because I'm talking a lot and we're gonna do the velour one. So I'm just gonna take it out. It does feel a lot watery or a little bit more liquidy than the other one. So I'm gonna come a little bit closer and I'm gonna grab a mirror here. I'm gonna attempt to do a wing. We'll see how that goes. Um, it was definitely a lot easier. I actually really like the way the component is, but I'm going to go ahead and apply this lash and hopefully um, it will stick. So the lash is on. 
The lashes are so pretty, I really like them. They're like a little bit more spiky than I usually like, but they are pretty. So that one on, super easy, just like the Kiss one, as far as I can see. It's not sticky at all, so the dry time on this is a lot faster. Um, the Kiss one definitely was still sticky after um, a little bit of time. This one like is completely dry now, it just feels like a normal liner. And I really like this component though, like the style. I haven't, don't think I've ever seen this type of liner, like when you have like this type of component. It was super easy to apply, um, and I actually really like it. I think it looks good. I have the Kiss one now. Um, the tip of this one is a felt tip, which is not my favorite, but we're gonna run with it today. This one is done, I think they actually match, which is shocking for me. This is liner is actually really nice. It's not dry at all. It's a very liquidy liner, so it can go on really easily. Um, I just don't like the tip of this one because it is difficult to create a really nice point, but it actually looks not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lash now. lashes are on simple quick and easy which is how I like it that is definitely still sticky but when I touch it it doesn't come off on my hand which is really nice but it is still sticky it doesn't bother me like if you touch it it's gonna be sticky but otherwise it's not um, uh, sticky like when I move my eye around but I do think that this velour one is very quick to dry down um, it takes like two seconds to dry down so you have a lot less time to apply the lash, this one takes a lot less time to dry down. I don't think that there's a huge difference between this one and this one, um, but I do think that I like this applicator a lot better than this one. I think this one is just a little bit more funky, but it isn't like a dry uh, felt tip liner, because sometimes when you get like a liquid liner, it's like dry. This one's definitely very, very nice to apply. Um, I also do think that the Kiss one is a little bit blacker than this one. Not by like a ton. I wouldn't say that it's um, that much. Um, but I really like like both of these. Um, I think that Kiss just being a lot cheaper uh, wins it for me. Also that you have a clear one. I don't know. I don't think so. But I don't think that um, Velour has a clear uh, one yet. So I think that the Kiss one wins it for me just because it's just a lot cheaper and it works Pretty much exactly the same. The only difference here is one dries down completely and the other one doesn't. Um, I did want to show it to you with like thicker lashes. Um, um, before I used some that were like a little bit more thinner, I used the AOA Studio uh, Alexis lashes and those are definitely a lot thinner because they're a dollar. But these ones are a little bit more like high-end kind of lashes are. So if you are a fan of high-end lashes, both the Kiss one and the Velour one work for those. The only issue I can see, which is like the same thing with when it comes to magnetic liner, is that if you do a really thin line here, then it's not going to stick as well. But honestly, every time I've used the Kiss one and the Velour, and the Velour one, um, I haven't had an issue with lifting. I like this so much better than glue, like 10 times better. I do not put lashes on with glue anymore. I use one or these two products or I use the clear one if I don't want a liner, um, like a, a wing liner, which is usually never um, because I freaking obsessed with wing liners. I think it makes your eyes look so pretty. Um, so if you are a person that is struggling with putting on um, lashes or just having like lifting problems, which is pretty much what I have, I feel like the corner of my lashes always freaking lift and it's so annoying um i definitely recommend the kiss one because you have two options here you can go clear or you can go just normal just keep in mind that this one definitely takes uh is a little bit hard to wash off i don't feel like this i don't think that this one will have that problem because it came off of my hand a lot easier like you can see it just like comes right off so i don't think that'll be a problem um also keep in mind with the drying times and all in all, I'm pretty impressed with both of them. If you're aware, I bought, both, I bought both of these at Walmart and I bought the Velour one on Velour.com. This is a very short, sweet video. I hope that you enjoy it. Sorry that I did two 
um, like lash liner videos, but I did really want to try the Velour one out for you guys so you can see it. Let me know down below if there's any uh, products like similar to this that you want to see on my channel you want me to try out for you guys. Definitely leave it down below. I really hope you guys are having a really good day and you are staying safe out there. I really hope you have a good weekend. Happy July 4th because happy July 4th is this weekend, which is so exciting. I have off on Friday. So excited. But I hope you have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.